And John Denton, the 40-year-old official from County Wexford, starting his second league final between these great neighbours. Tremendous rivalry between the two of them, I can tell you. And that's Joe Hayes, as Tipperary played down from right to left in the first half. Great anticipation about Croke Park. And two defenders going for the one ball, and uh, John Kennedy was very vigilant. The centre half back, such super skills. Player playing with an eye infection this afternoon, and they're taking a bit of a chance in playing him in the first place, but he's so anxious to participate. Joachim Kelly to, through towards Mark Corrigan on that left wing. Bobby Ryan getting there first, but he leaves it behind to Mark Corrigan. The experienced Mark Corrigan towards Eugene Cochrane and runs on to Pat Cleary. No whistle. Oh, it comes off Ken Hogan. It's gone behind for a 65. What brave goalkeeping. Pat Cleary can't quite believe it. Brendan Keeshan to take the 65. Remember the goal he scored against Wexford from this position. This time he's content with the point to cut it back three points to two. And what a scorer this man is, Brendan Keeshan. That's two goals and 15 points he's scored in this year's league. Ken Hogan has come about 25 metres from his goal to take this free. Tony O'Connell. Back it comes to Joe Hayes. Oh, that's a lovely bit of shooting from Joe Hayes, the midfield player. So Tip really now lording it at midfield and leading by five points to two. Joachim Kelly battling with Joe Hayes and Hayes once again. Obviously given a great deal of encouragement by that last score. Pau Neal plays for the County Champions Cup of White and so he's the captain of the side this afternoon. Playing it dangerously across to Pat Fox. Trying to connect. But that's swept out but only as far as Donny O'Connell trying to advance on goal. And this is Jer Coughlin there. But again, it's the unselfish hard work of Nicky English coming to Tipperary's aid. Beating Coughlin. There's his shot from just about any angle this man can score. And Nicky English has scored two points in the match as Tip lead by six points to two. 18 minutes now gone in the first half. Nick Coughlin threads it through the centre towards Declan Fogarty, but uh, Tipperary enjoying a stranglehold at midfield. Joe Hayes linking up with Nicholas English here. English across towards Fox, overhit that pass. And that's Brendan Keeshan going back adventurously in front of goal to make the save. Martin Hanami completes it. Good ball and taken nicely by Conor O'Donovan, just there ahead of his opponent. A good catch down towards Nicky English. It breaks down to Paul Neal, stopped by Jim Troy. A very good save by Jim Troy, the Offaly goalkeeper, from the shot by Paul Neal. The game hots up. Ten minutes to go to half-time, no goals in the game so far as Joe Hayes dominates at midfield. Tries to set up another chance for English, overhits that one through the centre. Aidan Fogarty is beaten, however, by English, kept it in play well. Can he link up with Fox now? That's Martin Hanami again. Woo, went up there and connected with Fox. Taken by Donny O'Connell. Donny O'Connell playing it from near the sideline and a lovely score. Well, some of the Tipperary players now are making a fine art of this. Scores from near impossible angles. Donny O'Connell's first of the afternoon. It's eight points to three. Declan Ryan, that ball didn't even reach midfield. Clearly, Offaly are going to have to make changes in midfield very shortly. Meanwhile, it's Aidan Ryan. On for Pau Neal. Oh, he's put it over the bar. He had a really good chance there of scoring the opening goal of the game, but Pau Neal, the team captain this afternoon, will have to be content with a point. And so now, four of the six forwards have got themselves on the score sheet. Declan Fogarty linking up here with Pat Cleary. Cleary turning around Conrad Donovan, trying to play it forward towards Mark Corrigan. It's got to Paddy Corrigan. A rasping shot off the goalkeeper, and it's gone behind for a 65. A second good save by Ken Hogan, the temporary goalkeeper. A fine piece of anticipation, once again denying Offaly. Joachim Kelly towards Paddy Corrigan. The pick up by Mark Corrigan across towards Joachim Kelly. Kept moving on that left wing, trying to round Bobby Ryan. A difficult thing to do inside the 20 metre line now. Across the face of the goal towards Pat Cleary. Hogan is out. The Tipperary goalkeeper sweeping it across towards Joe Hayes here on this left wing. He's beaten, however, by Pat O'Connor. Blocked down well by the Tipperary captain, Paul O'Neill. 
plays it to midfield but only to the waiting Brendan Keeshan who should be marking Paul O'Neill steadies himself there's the shot and Offaly are back in business nine points to five without playing all that well near to half time they find themselves only four points adrift Declan Ryan in midfield bats it down to Paul O'Neill that's cut out however by Brendan Keeshan Keeshan down towards Eugene Coughlin no Sheehy getting there first he's played remarkably well at fullback that's on by Bonner to the unmarked Aidan Ryan through the centre towards Vicky English casually lobbing it forward but overplaying it into space and Martin Hanimi the only one there for Offaly Bonner combining with Bobby Ryan that time in their over enthusiasm but catches it safely Ryan through the centre but nobody except the Offaly fullback that's Aidan Fogarty in position off Pat Cleary, down it comes to Declan Fogarty, can he open up the middle of that Tipperary rear guard? beautifully stopped by Paul Delaney, it comes back to Joachim Kelly, he whips it over the bar for his second point of the afternoon, both points coming from play, from the experienced Joachim Kelly, so that's the first score of the second half, and he says, right, let's have some more of that. Towards Joachim Kelly, who's enjoying a very successful spell, being marked by John Kennedy, Kelly cross towards Cleary, Here's Pat Cleary, trying to get a striking shot at goal. Pursued there by Seamus Gibson, robbed by Seamus Gibson. The cornerback kicking it to the middle of the field towards Aidan Ryan. Let's it bounce down to Declan Ryan, his namesake. Ryan sweeping it forward towards Pat Ryan, the two-man temporary attack. Pat Ryan and Nicky English. Ryan stopped once again by Martin Hanami. That's brilliant cornerback play by Hanami. Getting it out and the game really picking up a notch or two. Brendan Keeshan sweeping it downfield, but there's nobody there except Seamus Gibson, the one who started that entire move. Paul Delaney, way across into space where the tireless Aidan Ryan is prepared to run and run his legs off. Comes forward towards Donny O'Connell. Stopped, however, rather easily. Bad clearance from Donny O'Connell through towards Nicky English, swept out by Hanami, back once again. Here's English, chance of a goal here by Nicky English. Oh yes, it's the opening goal of the second half. The opening goal of the match as well. Eight and a half minutes gone. And when Nicky English was played into space behind the defence, he had a goal in his mind, and it was a brilliant shot into the corner. And this is Aidan Ryan, ostensibly the corner forward. But here he is, a player who could augment the half-back line, or a midfield as well. What a tremendous player. But that's cut out easily by Jer Coughlin. Pushing it across towards Declan Fogarty, who's now operating at a right half forward, in towards Eugene Coughlin, the full forward still, getting inside, no Sheehy. Coughlin once again, the shot, saved by Hogan, and what somehow got away by Bobby Ryan at the expense of a 65. Well, what a brilliant move. Michael Dygan and dispossessed by Bobby Ryan. Here's Declan Ryan, good wing forward in towards Pat Fox. Martin Hanami there, right beside Fox. Fox got in his shot nonetheless. Inside, and here's Paul Neal. Yes, the second goal, the second temporary goal. Scored by the captain, Paul Neal, the Kappa White player. And all the credit must go to Declan Ryan for playing that one way inside the defence. There were two temporary men there. And O'Neill hit it in his stride, right into the corner. A goal and a point is scored in the final. So now it really is being put up to Offaly. Well, here's Cleary, trying to round Seamus Gibson. Inside towards Eugene Coughlin. Backs to the goal, the driving shot saved by Ken Hogan. Back in by Mark Corrigan to Eugene Coughlin. And they've got the goal they so vitally require. It's come with seven and a half minutes remaining. Is there a further response now from Offaly? Joachim Kelly waited, ball landed down into his hand, he's fouled about 35 metres out. The bandage thigh and knee there of uh, Eugene Coughlin, the goal scorer for Offaly. They wait, and it's going to be Mark Corrigan, is he going for another goal? He is, and he's got it! He's got it! It went right through the net, and now Offaly are right back in there with two goals in the space of two minutes. That one from a free, right through into the corner by Mark Corrigan. PJ Martin, he's played well at centre-half back. Jerk Coughlin.
to the other centre half back the elegant skills of John Kennedy through the middle it comes once again a match being played with the fervour of championship action at this stage Conor Stakelham Michael Dignan making it hard for him here's Bobby Ryan the former all-star Bobby Ryan getting a second chance driving it forward Jim Troy saw it all the way read it well the clearance to midfield towards Joachim Kelly it runs on however to Joe Dooley the man who started as his midfield ally Dooley down towards Eugene Cochran Cochran can't hold on to it but threads it through nonetheless towards Pat Cleary Cleary for Offaly his side behind by five points at the moment shot half blocked down Eugene Cochran battling bravely once again but Tipperary they're in great numbers one of them is Seamus the man they call Sharky Gibson and that's Joe Hayes who sweeps it out of defence Michael Dignan under the ball hand passing it to Jer Cochran steadying himself back into the heart of the tip defence what a tremendous match this has turned out to be Eugene Cochrane once again striking it saved by Ken Hogan was it over the line it wasn't somehow it was kept out so it's all down to the last minute Fox helped on Connor Stakelham stopped and it's in by Pat O'Neill I think Pat O'Neill's second goal the team captain is it now Tipperary's day? Surely it's going to be. That rasping shot could only be parried by Troy. And O'Neill was there to slam it into the back of the net.